A thumbs up from Shane Foley after landing the Irish 2000 guineas on Romanized Patrick McCann by Tony O'Hare updated 6.44 p.m., May 26, 2018 Romanized delivered a 25-to-1 shock in the Tattersalls Irish 2000 guineas at The current on Saturday, storming home to conquer Ballyed Oil duo U.S. Navy flag and Gustav Klimt and provide trainer Ken Condon with not just his first classic triumph but his first victory of the year. The son of Holy Roman Emperor was produced in the final furlong by Shane Foley and one going away from U.S. Navy flag, on whom Ryan Moore tried to make all. The winning margin was two and a quarter lengths, with a Gustav Klimt a length and a quarter adrift in third. Ellerkum, the 2000 Guineas fourth who was sent off 2-1 favorite, was disappointing, coming under pressure three furlongs out and folding tamely to finish sixth. Watch Romanized win the Irish 2000 Guineas The success was a welcome change of luck for Condon and for Romanized, who had got no sort of run in the Tetrarch stakes on his reappearance at Nas. Kura-based Condon, from Ballyhea in County Cork, has been training since 2002, having spent five years with John OXX and also time in the stud and racing business in the U.S., where he worked for Todd Pletcher among others. He said, it's going to take a day or two for this to sink in. It's pretty special to step through the door which doesn't open for Mini and train a classic winner. I'm delighted for Romanized owner Robert Ng and for Shane and everyone in the yard. Romanized showed us early last year he could be a good one, he was second in the Solario last season and was unlucky in running on his first start of the year at Nas. He did his best ever bit of work on Tuesday and I thought he'd run a big race today, if he settled. We have 30 horses in the yard and, like so many other trainers, it's days like these that you dream about, added Condon, who runs another outsider, success days, in the Group 1 Tattersall's Gold Cup on Sunday. Tattersall's Gold Cup betting and card regarding plans for Romanized, Condon said, he's in the St. James's Palace and Commonwealth Cup but we'll wait and see how he comes out of. Today's race before making plans, Romanized was cut to 10 to 1, from 33, by Patty Power for the St. James's Palace Stakes, while Coral and Betfair Sportsbook quoted a best price 12 to 1. St. James's Palace Stakes betting and entries Romanized and Shane Foley crossed the line in the Irish 2000 Guineas Patrick McCann Foley, who was riding his second classic winner after jet setting in the Irish 1000 Guineas two years ago, said, I've always liked this horse and to come back after the last day was great. I was quietly confident. The plan was to get him relaxed, I nursed him around and he picked up well. Ken stood by me as an apprentice and I'm delighted to ride a classic winner for him, Romanized was last out of the stalls and fully bided his time before producing the colt with a strong run on the outside to sweep to the front inside the final furlong. O'Brien, who was one of the first to congratulate Condon, said, it's great for Ken. Our horses ran well and it would be hard to say US Navy flag didn't get the trip. That being said, he probably just about gets the mile, and seven furlongs might be his optimum. He has a few entries at Ascot and we'll wait and see, Mark Johnston offered no excuses for Ellercombe's below par performance. It was too bad to be true. We'll take him home and see if anything comes to light, he said. Irish 2000 Guineas result members can read the latest exclusive interviews, news analysis and comment available from 6pm daily on RacingPost.com.